I'm Jackie Ina, and you're backstage at Tamron Hall. I'll never forget this. It was 2014, and it kind of was like an accidental, I don't know, miracle. I, for the first time, decided to just let my guard down. And I did a video, and it was like, um, trends we need to die for like 2014 or something like that, something really stupid. And it was literally my first time ever going viral. And basically what I did in the video is I was like roasting all of these foolish trends, like big heavy eyelashes and contour that looks overly done. And it was really for the first time that I was just myself in a video and I put my myself out there and it went viral. So I went on to do it like every year and it became like a yearly tradition. I don't do the videos anymore, but it really changed my YouTube career forever. First palette I purchased, ooh, damn, that's a hard one. Uh, it was probably something from Urban Decay. Maybe like one of the Naked palettes, I don't remember though, but I'm gonna go with Urban Decay. First time I did my own makeup, I was, okay, so I discovered makeup in stages, right? Like when I was young, like 13, 14, I would just put stuff on my eyes, but I would never leave the house because I was like too embarrassed. Like I was like, oh my God, it probably looks really bad. I was so self-conscious about it. But then it wasn't until like 17 when I was like in a senior in high school where I felt, you know, comfortable exploring foundation. And then I would wear like shadow and then I would wear a lip. So I'd probably say around 17. So when I found out that Anastasia wanted to collaborate with me, um, it was, beyond surreal. I was just like, y'all sure you got the right person? I was like, what? Because Anastasia is like major, like this was a huge opportunity for me, especially being a black girl. I mean, if you walk into any retailer, you'll see a lot of influencer collabs, but it's very rare you see like a brown girl repping, a dark skinned brown girl at that. So it was just such a big opportunity for me. And like Anastasia has set the bar so high for quality that of course I was gonna do it. And it was just a really fun creative process. Ooh, the first reaction I did when I was verified, well, I think I started with Facebook first and then I went on to get verified on Instagram, but it was kind of a bigger deal to get verified on Instagram back then. So I was hyped. I was like, yes, this solidifies me like as a content creator and as someone who's really just trying to like make this career serious. First designer splurge with the designer toilet. So. Michael Kors was a splurge for me. I was trying to, you know, get there in baby steps. So I actually went and bought this like canary yellow, really heavily structured Michael Kors bag. And even though to some people that's not luxury, to me that was luxury. So that was the first designer thing I ever purchased. And then I was hooked. Now I got a whole closet full of bags. Valentino, Gucci, Chanel. There's a little bit of something for everybody.